Hi, welcome to the complete CMS course. My name is Jazib Akram and I'll be your instructor throughout this course. In this course, we will create this complete CMS blog. You can see this blog post. This whole post is coming from the database. You can see the image, the title, the category of this post and the date and time of this post and also the number of comments on this post. You can see the one right here. The user can also click on this read more button to read the full post. On this blog page, there are total three posts and right at the end, you can see the pagination. You can click on any of the link to go to the specific page. So if I click on this third page, this is the third page of our blog. Same design here as well. And we have selected the three here. You can click on the forward button to move forward. And also you can click on the backward button to go back. So if we reach to our last page of eighth one, you can see we don't have the forward button anymore here because we are on the last page of this blog. So now if I click on the first page and now let me show you this full post of cool laptop in history, clicking on the read more button. Here is this full post. You can see the category date and time. And then you can see the information about this post. This post got HTML and CSS inside the content of this post. And all the information which you are seeing right now is coming from the database. This image is also coming from the database. Then you can see we got a couple of more style. Then we got the image and then we got the couple of more design as well. And right here, you can see the comment on this post. You can also add new comment on this post as well. The submitted comment will appear here after the admin approval. For example, first, let me show you the admin panel. This will be our login page. You can see the attractive icon on this page as well. So I'm going to log in from my account of Elizabeth Doe with the password. So this will be the admin panel. You can see the post title right here then the date and time then you can also see the name of the author who added that post then the category and the banner of this post and here on this comment section you can see this one got one green box so the green box means this post got total one approved comment from the admin you can also edit this post and delete this post you can click on the live preview to see the post so here is this post and you can see that this post got one comment that's why we got the one green box right here now this red box means that this post got total two unapproved comments this one got one unapproved comments and if i scroll down you can see that these posts won't have any approved or unapproved comment from the admin and if you add these unapproved red comments two plus one you can also see the comments tab right here and this is showing the admin that there are total three unapproved comments on the comment section so first now let's add the comment on this post of cool laptop in history so clicking on the live preview i'm gonna add the comment on this post so giving name email nice post so the name is amir here so submit this comment I got the message comment submitted successfully and if I refresh this page you have to notice here now you can see we got the one red pop-up here it means that this post got one unapproved comments and if I refresh this page still you cannot see the comment which you just added until the admin approval and also you can see that the total notification is changed from three to four because now we got total four unapproved comments so now let me show you the comments tab this will be the comment tab you can see the unapproved comment section and also the approved comment section the admin can approve the comment delete the comment click on the live preview to see the post where the user added the comment so now let's approve this comment you can see the message right here comment approved successfully and if I can show you in the approved comment section that this was the comment added by the Amir and also you can see the admin name who just approved this comment.
the admin can also click on the disapprove tab to revert approval process and also delete the approved comment as well so now we approved this comment so if i refresh this page you can see the comment of amir is appearing right here and if i show you the blog page where we got this post now you can see that this post got total two comments so if i scroll down you can see that this post got total six comments so if i click on the read more button you can see the total six comments here on this post now let me show you the other tabs of our CMS. Then we got this add new post tab where admin can add the new post. Then we got the categories tab in which you can add some new category here as well. So if I add new category of nothing here, add new category, category added successfully. And here is the category name and the admin name who just created the category. Now in the admin tab, the admin can also add new admin and also delete admin as well and we can also track down that which admin is added by who now on this live blog you can click on the live blog to see the blog public page and you can also click on the log out to log out so now if i logged out i'm on my login page now if i try to get into our dashboard you can see I got this error message that login required. So now if I give it information from my other account of John and giving my password, you can see that the welcome message right here, welcome John. And if I click on the comment tab and approve this long comment by Jenny Mile, approving this comment, you can see that this comment is appearing in the approved section now. And this comment is approved by our admin of John. I can also click on the disapprove button to move it back in the unapproved comment section you can see the comment disapproved successfully now on our blog page on the right side you can see the categories section by clicking you can browse some specific category so if i click on this css category you can see we browsed all the post where the category is css and this post also got the category of CSS. So if I click on the news category, you can see these posts got the category of news here as well. And also this post got the category of news, date and time and the same design here as well. So now if I click on the category of nothing, which we just added, you can see we got no post here because we just added this category we didn't add any post according to this category so right after this category section you can see the recent post this section will show the latest post added by the admin and also i can click on any of the post to view the full post so if i click on this one php new version this is the post right here and you can also add the comment on this post as well so adding the comment here submit this comment comment submitted successfully and if i go to my dashboard page you can see that this post got one red comment and also you can see the total number of unapproved comments updated here as well now clicking on the comment tab i can click on the approve button to approve this comment this comment approved successfully and approved by john now if i click on the live preview you can see the full post and the comment which just approved by the admin and right on the top you can also see the search tab in which the user can also search something here and the search result of user search appear in the main area of our blog we searched for machine and you can see the machine right here now about this blog our blog will be completely responsive you can see the responsiveness of our blog everything that is showing right here is completely responsive and also you can click on the toggle menu to see the information of some other tab as well so this will be our cms which we are going to create in this course and the bonus in this course 
we will create this whole blog with bootstrap so in case if you don't know anything about bootstrap this course is ideal for you because we are going to create this blog and admin panel from scratch without using any type of bootstrap template we will build this complete project from scratch this course is for those who already have some basic knowledge of php and for those beginners who want to learn php by building a complete php application so this will be the complete blog which we are going to build with admin panel thanks for watching this video i will see you inside this course